Well, this will wrap up the round one action on stage two. Then we'll be straight into round two, so don't worry. We've got loads and loads of darts for you here on stage two this afternoon. But Danny Lorby and Nathan Rafferty, however this game goes, is going to go pretty quickly because Lorby is one of the quickest players around. And bearing in mind, as you've already seen in our coverage, it is rather rough and ready. Uh, we're doing our best to show you where the darts land. Who knows how much we'll see of this one? Because Danny Lorby is going to fly around the board and Nathan Rafferty doesn't hang around either. Rafferty has pedigree in this tournament. He did famously beat Peter Snakebite Wright, who was the defending champion at the time. And Danny Lorby, who has finally got himself on the PDC Tour after years and years of trying. Another American representative. Jules Van Dongen has fallen by the wayside. Leonard Gates is also in action here this weekend. But Lorby could be the one to have the biggest impact over the next few days. Could be an interesting World Cup team as well, Dan, with Danny and Jules in a few months' time. End of June this year for the World Cup. Not that I'm looking too far ahead, but I'm really looking forward to that. And these are interesting flights that Mr. Rafferty's got. You don't see many oh. people using that shape, do you? Yeah, what is that shape called? I've seen them use them before, but I don't know what they're called. Yeah, I don't think they have a name. I think they're just, they just like, they look like oh. the fancy kite. Mm. The fancy kites of Nathan Rafferty. Yeah, but they have this almost scalloped top. They're very unusual. And the last thing you want to do with flights like that is get them to hit your face or your nose. Because they're particularly One, sharp. 40. But they are obviously working for Nathan now that he's got another year on the tour, thanks to a certain Luke Littler. 140, then you're 161. I oh, gambled on the treble 19 there. He's got three darts at a double. A lot of players that have brought the bullseye into play to leave single to double. It's worked out nicely for him. Danny Lorby. Yeah, roughly having to recalibrate there after getting the treble seven on the miss. A double six for Danny. Not a problem whatsoever. In his third visit to Minehead for the UK Open, he was here last year and lost to Jim McEwen. I bet that was a, an interesting game of fast versus not so fast. Yeah, real clash of styles there. He did win a couple of games the previous year. Beat Nico Springer oh. in his first round match and then beat Paul Hogan after that before losing out to Andy Bolton. Yeah, a bit of a UK Open legend, Paul Hogan. Had a couple of runs here and taken out some big names oh, along the way. 34. Oh. The professional amateur, as he was coined back then. He didn't seem to be playing as much hey, at the want. minute. Well, I think what Danny Lauby's done over the last couple of years is very admirable. He's relocated to the UK. 39. He has come through qualifiers to get here previously. But now that he's on the tour... He's got a, a game plan. He wants to succeed oh. at the top level. He wants to be the marquee player from the USA. But he has sacrificed an awful lot in the last 26 months, playing lots of local tournaments, just getting a feel for what it's like to be a dark player based in the UK. Yeah, a lot of people for Danny Lorby. Darts has oh, obviously oh, been oh, the focus for him. But doesn't stop all the the stuff around it he's had to change for him to pursue this and now he's got to make it work got to make this work as well double top 40 should be back more often than not he would be and Rafferty Looking a bit ragged at the minute there's darts missing left and right 40. Danny Lorby double 10 for a 2 0 lead, and that will yeah, do the job. The leg, Danny Lack. The leg is Danny to throw first. Worked out for the other left hander on this board earlier this afternoon for Ron Mullenkamp. He got himself a win against Rusty Jake Rodriguez. 
but if you think about other people who have relocated to the UK to be part of the PDC tour, people like Kyle Anderson, Damon Hetter, Simon Whitlock, they were coming from a very nice climate to the UK, which is a bit sketchy at times, let's, let's be honest. But the winters in the UK are not as bad as they are in Indiana. Is that right? Absolutely. They get a lot of snow up there. 140. Yeah, just west of Pennsylvania, going towards the Midwest. They get some weather. <laughs> and they get some tornadoes as well. We don't tend to get many of those over here. No, I think it's based around sort of the Warwickshire way now, Danny Lorby. Not known as tornado country. Go a couple of counties over, you can get earthquakes. Small ones. But when Dawson Marshall relocated oh. to the UK from Canada, he went to Warwickshire. Of course, to uh, live near his mate Ted Everts, of course. Oh. Well, Lorby's the better player in this game so far. Rafferty has to find something. And it might mean taking 177 out in two visits. That helps. This would be the halfway point for Danny. He's not going to find it at this visit. But if Rafferty misses 80 like Danny did in a previous leg, he will get a look. A very inviting two data, but this is a very different shot for Rafferty as it was for Lauby. Nothing in the way, but it's the same result. Danny requires 48. 16 for double or 8 for tops. 8 for tops it is. Eight. And you could see what he was trying to do there. Eight. Coming Eight. from an angle and force it in underneath Eight. that first dart. Did not work. That's two darts missed for a 3 0 lead. It could be a turning point. Yeah, Let's see if it is because Nathan leg three goes to the Northern Irishman with a sigh of relief. But leg is Nathan you can tell that he's working really hard in this game. Nothing natural about it. Game. But I've made an observation with Danny. Those darts don't seem to be going in as upright as previous. And that shot at tops in leg three proved that when he's got the shot just on the outside, it's not exactly a perfect guide for him. He's doing something with his left-hand grip that is very Gary Anderson, like he's pinching the point at the end, and applying a bit of pressure to that. 54. And you can see the flight climbs in his grip as the point goes down. If you don't throw that right, it'll, it'll land Whoa. flat. You've really got to give it some ferocity for it to land with that upright angle of attack on the board. Another bit of good news from board number four, if you're a fan of John Henderson because he's beaten Kevin Burness by six legs to four. And that sets up a very inviting game in round two with Dom oh. Taylor. The winner of that game will play Hian Van Veen on this board in our penultimate match of the afternoon. Yeah, Dom Taylor, very impressive young talent. Hendo, we know all about. And Hian Van Veen. 140. The most promising young talents in the sport, full stop. It'll all be down to a better finish than that of Rafferty. Rafferty gets first poke and he's not going to take it out. Another dart into the five segment and again. Well, this is something that has got to stop if Rafferty's going to get through this match. He's fixed that situation very, very well. And he is going to get a look at tops to equalise oh. after four legs. He made a great observation there, Dan. That creeping to the left. It cannot continue. Yeah, the he's getting more central yeah, on the tops. Right. The first one hit the left centre of it. Then he's yeah. getting towards middle stump there. But you might ask yourself, why is he constantly hitting the five? If you look at his action, oh, his elbow four, pinches two. inwards. And that forces the hand to go a little bit to the right. You see the angle of the forearm there? It's actually pointing towards the five, so he's Steve. fighting it. Yeah, a lot of players... 
when darts players lean in, it's all about getting the arm entirely in line with the, the eye and the body oh. and basically throwing down a straight line. But we've seen Wesley Plies here, who pivots from the hip. We've seen players like George Killington, who is one of the outer boards, all throw across his face because it's, his, it's not his dominant eye that he's throwing. Oh. A leading eye, if you like. He's throwing across his face, a bit like Bobby George used to. And Nathan Rafferty, you can see... The arm, oh, so there's so much of a dip and a bend that it, there is a sort of angle of throw from right to left, isn't there? And if you release a little bit late, it'll be dragging it over to the left-hand side. Absolutely. 85. That was a deflection. That wasn't anything to do with where it was landing naturally. But I think because of the way he throws, that's why he Six. leans to the right-hand side of the hockey, very much like Wes Newton used to do. Same sort of principle. He feels he can have more forgiveness by going right of the hockey instead of central or even left, like Andrew Gilding, off current UK Open champion, does. And you see Wes Newton sort of arches back during his throwing. He drew the dart back. Yeah, so much so you thought he was doing the Fosbury flop. Yeah, he really, really did. What a player Wes Newton was, by the way. Former UK Open finalist. Yeah. 42. Two major finals, I believe. Right, 156. Of the European Championships. Yeah, 2012 against Whitlock. 2011 UK Open against Wade. James Wade, of course. Oh. Those were the UK Open in three separate decades. Lovely dart. Lovely play. finish. Daniela. That's more like it. Obviously, Nathan's didn't like the fact that he was hauled in after four legs. He gets himself in front again. We well, mentioned Joe Croft, one of our Riley's qualifiers, a little bit earlier on today. He has won in round one. He's beaten Willie Boland by six legs to five. That was six. a very close game towards the end. But Joe Croft in the hat, so to speak, for round two. Yes, no need for the hat for uh, round two and three. The hat action has already concluded but the hat will return for round four when the open draw format continues. 42. Well, good news for Chris Dorby and Callum Rids. They can't draw Manchester City this afternoon. In fact, Rids is the highest ranked player playing Big this enough. afternoon. World number 33. Yeah, top 32 entering at the fourth round stage. Rids kind of pushed out by Luke Littler forcing his way into the top 32 with that run to the World Championship. It'll be interesting to see where Littler is come the end of this year. Or even the end of next year because he's got nothing to defend for the next 22 months. 434. Well, Rafferty has got himself into this game and he is playing better than he was in the opening couple of legs but there's still an awful lot to do for these guys to get to the levels that they know they can produce and it is Riley's qualifier that is awaiting the winner of this one Jack Mail of the northeast of England who came through his first game against Martin Dracht by six oh, legs to five He'll be getting ready for whoever he plays right now. But Rafferty would love to be in that match. He's still got tops to find for 3-3. Three, three. And that bet has been very good to him in this match. Three legs, one on tops. He's gradually going from left to right on that bed. Yeah, it just seems to be calibrating the radar. It's only an 18 data, but ton plus finish from Nathan Rafferty. Needs to find that break of throw, though. Going to get himself in front for the first time in this game. So a real topsy-turvy encounter oh, in our last match where Jules Van Dongen was 2-0 up, 4-2 down. Then looked like he might win it, missed two oh, match darts and was beaten by Thibaut Tricol. Looks something similar here. And Chris Landman's just won on board six. Six legs to three against Christopher Tondas. Bright sparks coming out of Germany over the last 12 months. So he's through is the countryman. I'll tell you what, if Landman makes oh, it through to round it. four and Lorby makes it round through to round four and they play each other, I mean, they are so similar in how they play. They just run up to the hockey and just get rid of the darts. 
a hot potato stuff. It really is. Maximum from Nathan Rafferty. Keeps him interested in the leg, but for how much longer? Well, a little while longer. 58. Make new goal 142. Still waiting for a massive finish on this board. It's not going to be this one. Lavi, who has led. 55. On multiple occasions in this match already. Would love to do it again. On tops. Yeah, it's He's on getting the plenty of attention. Yeah, it's it is 4-3 to the American. It's also 4-2 to Benjamin Drew Royce of Denmark, who's currently playing Bradley yeah, Ruse, another young star from the Netherlands. It's out on board number five, but there are games going on right now that really get you interested in 56. this stage of the tournament. Leonard Gates currently 4-3 down to Conan Whitehead, who has had some great performances on the tour and the UK Open in the past. Jason Hogg, a qualifier from Scotland, is taking on ice cold Darren Beveridge. Yeah, old Scottish encounter there. What's it like, Paul, playing a player of this pace, with Danny Lorby? Like, say, at the back end of that leg, you think, oh, I might be in with a sniff. I've left myself on him. And then it's literally less than five seconds, bang, bang, gone. It, and the leg is gone. Ho horrifying. I was never the quickest player. And for me, I was more comfortable playing against Taylor or Part or someone who was a bit more methodical. But against someone like a Danny or a Evans or a Klassen, there was an occasion I played Ricky Evans in Crawley, and he'd already hit the 144 checker before I'd passed him. 58. <laughs> it was a dizzying experience. You've got to find a way to create your own bubble, or you're dragged into their pace. And that, that is a thing, though, isn't it? Because you're right. Yourself, you were never the slowest player, but you did have a routine. You had a method. You wanted to. You worked each visit, and if all oh, of a sudden oh. well, it's your go again, it's your go again, it's your go again. You're you're being rushed. You're being, it, and it's difficult not to get dragged along into that and taking you out of your normal Maybe routines you to give yourself the best it. chance of hitting what you need. Very much so. And this is where a Northern Irish player has just got to play. With a little bit of patience, 25. that's not going to help. Danny Rigo, 150. 150 required for Lorby. Not going to go. But that poor visit Nine. from Rafferty Nine. means that this is certainly not a gimme. Bullseye. 74. That was to equalise again for Rafferty, Danny who was clinging on for dear life in this game. 60. But Danny could have distance. 20 for tops. Ignore the scoreboard. It's got no relevance to what's going on. Yeah. That has, though. It is 5-3. Danny Lorby is a leg away from booking his place in the next round to face one of the Riley's qualifiers in Jack Mayle. Now 4-4 four, four between Whitehead and Gates. And it's 3-3 three, three in that all-Scottish encounter between Beveridge and Hogg. Another Scotsman, Andy Bolton, is taking on Owen Bates as well on board number four. 58. Great games going on all over this place at the minute, but this one is firmly in the hands of the American. Six. Every now and again, you are going to be confronted with this position where you have to win the last three legs. You've got to believe that you can do it, no matter how you've played. This is the hard way, though. It's got to be break, hold, break from Nathan Rafferty. And truth be told, he's not played his best in this game. Any, There's not been any consistent period. There was a little spell where he managed to win three legs out of four, coming from 2-0 down to level at three apiece. But even then, it wasn't anywhere near his top-level stuff. And Danny Lorby, without being brilliant himself, has given himself a chance. He's on 181. Rafferty on 219. He'll come down for the 19s here. 59. He's left to finish. Oh, in fact, sorry, it's hold. Yeah, it's hold, break, hold. So it's not the hard way at all. 57. That's worked out pretty Six. well for Rafferty. That could have been a lot worse. All he can do is lay up now. But he'd love to leave 60. 60. Danny Rick, 124. But this really could have been a lot easier for the match. 
He doesn't get a shot of the ball. And that double that has been so good to Nathan Rafferty in this game has got to be available to be hit right here. He might need two of them. He will need two of them. And he can't get them. Six. Match starts Danny Lorby, double 16 for a 6-3 victory. Straight in, no problem. Jules Van Dongen couldn't do it, but one of the USA's other stars could. Danny Lorby is through to round two. He'll face one of the Riley's qualifiers in Jack Mail. And we're straight into round two action in a moment as Geert Nenchez of the Netherlands faces the German Pascal Ruprecht.